Hi everyone, my name is Jack Ferguson and I'm going to be taking you through some strategies today about how to make money online. I'm often asked, how do you go about it? Um, people really want this lifestyle, it's, it's obviously a great lifestyle, you can work from wherever you are in the world and you do not have to be in a fixed location at any time. So uh, it's a very, very rewarding career in my opinion, um, so I'm going to go and take you all through a strategy that I personally use to to make money online. It's actually the very first strategy I ever used. Um, during the, the series, I might show you a few more, but for now, we're going to just start off with one strategy that you can get started on straight away. Okay, so before we go any further, I just want to talk about what exactly um, a business is or, or what exactly happens when, when money is made. So basically, we all know that that if you have a job, you're agreeing to go to work for say 40 hours a week and in exchange your boss will give you a certain amount of money for doing that. Now, having your own business is no different. You have to, the idea is you have to look for something that people need and find a way to deliver that to them. That's how you make money. That's how you make money online. It's no different to making it offline. But the beauty about making it online is that, as I said, you can be anywhere in the world and, and do this. So. What I want to start off by doing is first we're going to look for a market. So that's that's something that people are willing to pay for and uh, it is a solution they really want. So I'm, I'm going to ask you to go to the site freelancer.com, F-R-E-E-L-A-N-C-E-R.com. And on this site, it's got a lot of a lot of projects here that employers all over the world will post to, um, to, to get people to then bid on that they can they can work for them to deliver the desired outcome. So if we just click on browse, browse categories here, I will show you exactly what I mean. So here we've got a, a whole range of jobs. Um, th this section is the websites IT and software section. So .NET is a programming language. Um, there's, um, there's Facebook there. There's a, a range, of, range of things that you can do in um, websites, IT and software. So if we go down further, there's mobile phones and computing. So here we've got Android. So in that section, there'd be a lot of Android apps that people are wanting made. Um, Blackberry, Blackberry apps, iPad the same, iPhone, um, and so on. Below that, writing and content. So we've got um, academic writing, article writing, articles, blog. These are all things that people are posting to this site and saying, look, I want. I need a solution for this. I'm going to put it in this category. This is what I need done. So, so the idea here at the moment is we can actually look how many people are bidding on any particular project. Now, don't worry about whether you can actually deliver yet or not. Let's just focus on finding our market first. So, let's go. Let's try Drupal. Drupal's. Um, you don't. You don't need to know what Drupal is yet. We're not up to that part yet. So let's leave it at that. So if I go down, scroll down, I'm in the Drupal section. Um, the way you tell how competitive a market is is basically by the bids. So if you can see bids here, you go 14, 16, 1, uh, 29, 24, 35, 31, 12, 17. So there's all. It's pretty competitive here. It's not probably a market I'd be looking to get into. Um, I know there's there's one project that only has one bid on it, but um, there might be something that's that's causing that to be only only the one bid. So let's not worry about that for now. Let's try another another um, market and see if it's a bit less competitive. Like what will we go to? Let's try um, C programming. Once again, if we just scroll down. So already I like this more. We've got a few projects that have got no bids on them at all. Um, one's two, seven, seventeen, three, two. So a lot of projects in the single single figures. So that that's a lot better. It's a lot less competitive. We can tell right off the bat. So let's actually go into one of these projects. Let's try Facebook group event poster. Now here's someone, I would like an application created that would allow me to post to multiple Facebook group events. This app should be written in C um, so I can port it into another application later. So, so you, you're looking at that and you think, okay, it's got no bids, um, great, but I don't know how to do it. And that's where um, the resources come into it. And, and you need to 
understand that you uh, with this strategy you're taking the marketers role so you're looking for low competitive markets that you're then going to um, find a team that that can deliver um, the solution for so how would you go about this let's just copy and paste this for a second what this person's asked copy if we go to odesk odesk.com that's another site where um, a similar type of thing happens you, you can post your job and someone will bid on it. But let's, um, for this one, let's, so let's go and post your first job. Um, and in this time, you're the person posting the job, asking someone to do the work for you. So if you, if you posted this here, um, you could use the same title, Facebook event poster, put it into all the same, same categories, um, web development, um, C programming, etc., etc. You don't need to know what it is yet. Um, skill required, C programming, here, you know, where is it there? Um, and what you could do is you can actually set this to a fixed price. And what you do is, let's say you, you're gonna set this at 500, back on the Facebook site, when you bid on this project, you could you could say you're gonna charge $750 for it. So what you're doing is you're you're helping helping this person on freelancer who who is not getting any um, bids at the moment for their project they need done. You're helping connect them with someone else um, through another site. So essentially, you're acting as a marketer. So over time, you can actually build up a team, and you can do a lot more of these projects because then you've got a team that you've already worked with that you can then go, okay, let's do some more. See programming projects. You don't have to, there's nothing deceptive about it. You can tell this person, I've got my, um, I'm going to have a programmer work on this. I can um, do this for you, no problem. Here's the questions we need answered. And then you just facilitate the discussion between the two parties. So um, that's that's the basics and that's, that's one way I'd suggest you start is, is pick, a, pick a low competitive market and then, and then find your team. So I hope that helps and um, there'll be plenty more videos to come, but that's, um, that's a start. So thanks for listening.